name is Ahmed Karpena. We are students from the Jose Domingo Perez School of Engineering at the Universidad de Cuba. We are from the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. And this is our project of microprocessors. It's called Smart Packing And we're going to show it to you now. So, the system is composed of a power supply, uh, two magnetic sensors that have two inductors, large inductors in the floor, uh, main controller, and uh, infrared sensors for distance, measuring the distance. This would be used for this tool would be used for knowing if there is any free space in the parking lot, and uh, this two, this one will. Measure the uh, will count the cars that will go in the parking lot, and we will measure the count that will the cars that will get out from the parking lot. I'm now we're gonna start showing to you how it works. So you, if you can see these two LEDs, green LEDs, they are on. That means that there are cars in the area, but that's not true because they are not car. That means that the sensor had to be calibrated for the base frequency that is going to be recorded, recorded in the internal memory, in the EPROM. And how we calibrate these sensors, we just hit this to push button and we're going to take measurements. When that uh, yellow LED is on, it means that the calibration interaction is, is being process. What it does is it takes 10 measurements and average them and take that as a base frequency and compare it in order to, to take a call. So if you can see now both of the green LEDs are off, meaning that they're on a call. So now it's true. So now we will proceed with the connection with the hyper terminal and we turn on the light controller. So, we will show the menu. First, we have the parking display, the available parking, uh, nearest parking, cars in, and cars out. I will turn on the sensors. So, if you see, it will, uh, it will sense if there's any cars in the parking lot. So, I will start with showing you the parking display with no cars. Select number one. As you, as you can see, it shows that there's no car. The zero means that it's empty. And when um, zeros it turns to one, that means that there's a car in that space. So Carpena will show you with the magnetic sensor how it will work. So basically what it does is it takes a large piece of metal, metal in the area. So we are going to simulate the metal of a car with this piece of metal and we're going to put it inside the inductor in order to uh, change the frequency and activate the sensor. So we are just going to put it in here in order to demonstrate it and this green light turn on, meaning that there's a car in the area. So that, that space is the A2 and in the parking display will be seen that in the space A2 there's a 1, indicating that it's, there's one car. So we show the parking display. And in A2, there's a one. So there's one car. And I will show you the only one car getting. You can see there's cars in one. So if I show you cars out, so you zero and cars still inside is one. So now I will show you how the infrared distance sensor will work. I will use the model again, counting one car, and then I will put it in the space. I see. The green light indicates that there's a car in that space. If I show you the parking display, there's in A0, there's one. So there's two cars in the parking lot. So I will show you the cars in. There's two cars in. And available parking will tell you that there's two cars in the parking lot and there's 
14 space 3. There's two cars in the parking lot and 14 space 3. So now we will demonstrate the, when the cars go out, get, get out. So we use the model and we use the other, the other sensor that we tell you that we count the cars that we can get out. So the cars get out and we show you that one car is out and starts to inside this one. But by now we demonstrate the, how the other things are working. So, for the sake of, sake of demonstration, we're going to change the piece of metal to the other one in order to demonstrate that two of the sensors work. So, there's a sensor check out, so the other inductor, the other LED should be green, so it should turn on. And in the parking display, it should show that in A3, there's a car parking. Well, we're going to simulate that this car leaves the parking lot. So, we take out the metal. And, and we take the count. Cars out of one, parking lot empty. The sensor of getting out won't count if the parking lot is empty. So, if I click and continue, if you continue sensing that whatever it is, you tell you that only two cars got out and the parking lot is empty. So that's it for the demonstration. This is the project for microcontroller one. And this is a smart parking lot. So this is a prototype, but it works.